Myra was the first to be a queen, but if you look back over the last 10 years, we've had attendants that may have, have been of Hispanic descent. We've had a student body secretary that has been a Hispanic student, you know, and, and even go back just to students participating in different activities. So it, to me, it is a real progression of acceptance, one, of that, those students becoming involved in the culture of our school. Uh, our homecoming queen selected on the vote of the entire student body. And that just tells me the Hispanic segment of our population is voting. So we're teaching them something about the American process. They are not a majority, by the, obviously they're, they're a minority, but enough of them cared enough to vote that Myra was, was awarded representing our student body as football homecoming queen. I, I just see it as part of the progression. If I go back to when I first came here, one of the issues I dealt with as assistant principal, we had some interracial fights, uh, intercultural fights, maybe a better way to put it. Uh, because we had a segment of our, of our Caucasian population that was not comfortable and was fearful about another culture invading their space. And there were, in the two years I was assistant principal, I dealt with multiple actual physical fights between Hispanic and Caucasian students. As I look now to what we see, it is very rare for us to see any type of confrontation that's motivated by culture. Our non-Hispanic kids now, no, kids are kids. They're part of our, of our culture. They're part of our school. Uh, we've gone from it being those almost combative situations to seeing intercultural dating. I think that's been a real progression among our kids, and, and it's a positive thing. It definitely is because there's, uh, the longer and, and the more involved we can have our Hispanic students, the more they just become kids. Uh, we have to recognize their cultural background, but at the end of the day, kids are kids, whether they're Russian, Latino, Caucasian, African American, they're kids. And they have the same needs across all cultures to be accepted, uh, to be cared about, to be recognized, and those things don't change. And our kids are realizing that this is just, their skin color may be a little different, they may talk with a different accent, but this is another kid that I can be friends with.